Hello MechWarriors, how is it going? And welcome back to another episode of MechWarrior Online, where we are playing the Black Knight today. The Black Knight is a 75 ton Inner Sphere battle mech, and that thing is a monster when it comes to energy damage output. It has 8 energy hardpoints, it also has 2 AMS hardpoints, so you are actually protected against missiles. And we are playing the Black Knight 6 today, because I just wanted to do that, and it is the resistance variant, therefore the R here. It's a special variant that I got with a pack, but you can also take the regular Black Knight 6 and you good to go. Now, what are we doing today? We take a classic laser vomit build and that includes two large pulse lasers, six medium lasers and again the two AMSs to protect you. Two tons of ammo, light engine 300 makes the mech reasonably fast at 64 kph. That's a, I would say, a pretty good speed for an inner sphere battle mech in the heavy segment and yeah, the rest is just heat management. We have 20 heat sinks to keep the mech cold. It works like a charm even in hotter environments so make sure you watch the second game as well and it deals a good chunk of damage. We have an alpha strike of 50 damage each time we alpha strike and yeah if you just take your time if you take it slow if you cool down between the shots you have a great time on the battlefield and as i was saying you're also well protected against missile spam with a double ams i think it is worth noting that we take a look at the quirks real quick before we go into the games because these here give you um all right, you can see that we have a lot of structure quirks we have structure basically everywhere and that makes the mech rather sturdy so it's a 75 toner per se, and with the additional structure, you actually have almost as much structure as armor on the front here, and that's, that's quite cool. I'd rather have armor, of course, but, you know, it is just the things that we get here. Now let's take a look at the skills before we dive into the games. You can see I have the extended laser vomit firepower tree, extended because these points are kind of optional, but I wanted the additional cooldown and the additional range, and other than that, we get the laser duration notes, we get heat gen galore, because that's an energy build, it's quite toasty, and you need to keep it down with the heat. A bit of cooldown and range on the way down and then I was tilting my points more or less to the structure, to skeletal density here and I was taking some armor hardening on the way down like this one here is easily accessible and uh, there are some other this one here and so on. But yeah this is our basically our defense here, structure not armor. Problem with the structure is of course that as soon as your armor is gone, you can get critical damage, your internals can get destroyed, you can lose heat sinks, weapon systems and so on. Again, therefore, the first layer of defense, the armor quirks, are always better than structure quirks. But hey, we just get more raw power, more raw numbers out of that. We also have maximum cool run, almost maximum heat containment, 60% rated deprivation, double cool shot, UAV, and that is the build. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. If you have that, as always, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and now it is time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing the Frozen City. We are playing Skirmish. We go up to the high ground to the Fox 7 area, and then the fight will probably unfold in Echo 7. So, let's see. We have 400 meters on our large pulse lasers. That is not that much, to be honest, but let's see what we can do with it. So, I would say our nominal fighting distance is about 300, and this is where I want to get. This is where I want to be. Also, our double AMS should help us against the guys that are shooting missiles at us and yeah i'm a bit i, don't know, I would say too much up front maybe at the same time i can get into a good position early on and if there are light max coming i am ready i'm absolutely ready so yeah let's uh, push into the fox 7 area to the right side more or less oh, hello Irby. we could hit you man dude Irby. we dealt damage without getting damage in return that's always great i like to get that done now, my team is following. That's good. Target Enemies here. I was seeing that a little bit too late. You want your pulse lasers? You can go home. Seriously. Ooh, 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 ooh. Enemies are pushing in. Oh, that's interesting. See, I ideally I want to bring the fight to a brawl-ish um, situation. Not too much to a full firing line situation. Here you can see the drawback of the build. Having the low laser hard points there. Uh, that is not really great. But okay, we, you know, we are just creeping in there, Acquired. chipping in damage whenever we can, and as soon as the fight is on, we're gonna push these guys as an urban mech. Ooh, good damage there against them. I want to bring my UAV here. I think it's important. Target. Oh, what was that? That was arm lock, guys. You can see that, the sway? I hate when that happens. Okay, let's go in with arm lock already. There. Oh, again! I should not use arm lock at this point, I think. And I think the peeking, the poking is not really helpful anymore. Also, artillery strike, therefore I'm pulling back. And we are safe. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it like this, without the arm lock. Just because, again, I'm, I'm absolutely not used to arm lock. It's just muscle memory that is, you know, not working here. Alright, alright, alright. So I'd rather splash the damage a bit, but still get most of the damage on point, instead of... 
you know, getting nothing here there. Okay. Are we getting pushed? Means I think, here's the thing. Yup. I'm gonna make a counter push now. I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go for the Warhammer 2C. Ooh, this guy is a brawler. Hey, we got him. Perfect. There's a guy around the corner here with ECM. That's the flea. Locust? Locust flea? The flocust, maybe. <laughs> okay. Just the pulses here. Since he is uh, out of my laser range for the mediums. Where are they? Yeah, they are. Okay, so that's definitely a shot. If he pulls back, he will pull back. Mm, no, he's pushing forward. Okay, so we are also dying. <laughs> and that's what we do here. The thing is, these guys are quite intimidated by us. So the mad cat here, it actually is gonna die because we tell him to. Cool. Push around. There were so many skirmishes. Also, big artillery strike. Great. And one more. Got him. Perfect. So, one more guy on the right side. Again, this is the situation I wanted to get. Mr. The Flocust. Okay, Mr. Flocust. I hit you a bunch of times. That is good damage to the little guy. Um, I think I could get away by uh, going in like here. The Vulcan still in pretty solid condition. Uh, yeah, he's right behind me. Good job there. Very good job. He really wants me. He really wants me. Okay, let's uh, regroup somehow. Okay, this is kind of working. No, a little bit of damage here and there. I want to stay in uh, heat vision here because I want to see when the Locust is coming in again. Oh, I got these guys. I mean, the good news is I got a lot of structure still. And that was a good shot. I can 3, looking solid. Looking very solid, guys. I think I want to be a little bit more aggressive now. Although... Nah, these guys are dead. Technically. Basically. Okay. That's an AC-10. That's a light guy. Ah! Wait. Something exploded. I think I think we got him. Maybe. I don't know. Hey, Irby. Okay. There are explosions everywhere now. Oh, yeah. We got these guys. That was the little guy. And now we're gonna wrap around here. And we're just gonna pull back. You know what? That is a 10 and... 4 scenario. I'm lock. Ooh, I'm trying my best, guys. I'm really trying my best. Uh, here we go. No. No, 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 no. So we're gonna try to cut the path of the cicada. And that is it. Another kill in our books. Well my AMS is not... Oop, my AMS is not really doing that much here, I have the feeling. Lots of people were going in with ballistics and laser weapons. This guy was so annoying throughout the whole game. I really want him. Okay, I didn't get him. The last laser sway, again, the, the bobbing up and down, I had to compensate for that. Armlock was on and I was like, whoop, <laughs> let's go somewhere else. No, it was pretty good. That was a good game, guys. It was nice slow, it was steady, it was controlled, it was concentrated. And we got three killing blows, seven assists, three kill most damage dealt with 746 damage done and 400 roundabout taken. How many missiles did we destroy? Yeah, 44, exactly. So, yeah, that was good. Black Knights matter. Great, let's go over to the next round and see how this will go down. All right, second game of the day. We are playing the Caustic Valley. We are playing Conquest. We're gonna go to the center of the map eventually. But first of all, I want to cap this and then we're gonna go into the Theta area. Although, wait, was that a Hunchback? A Bushwhacker? Uh, these guys might be the same speed as me. So we're just gonna push through and we leave it to the medium max to do it to full because um, they will catch up quicker and if I go in there now then you know they will just cap it to full and then they will follow and then we will arrive at the front line at the same time so always think about that when you're going for a cap especially if you're an assault mech just walk through the thing if it's right next to you and let it um, yeah let it be handled by the lights and mediums and you know you go to the front line when they are done capping they will just catch up to you it's important that you position yourself early if you are a heavy or an assault mech. Anyway, that being said, we're gonna go to the left side. Should we go counter NASCAR? We have a lot of assaults on our left side. Like, our assaults. Yep. Cool. You're gonna lose the two in Echo 5 if you don't. Yeah, back. exactly. I'm gonna push through the center now. New target. Let's okay. see what we can do. Uh, UAV is very important here. I need to know what's coming before it comes. So, I think I'll drop it around this area. I wanna see if there's something close. If there's nothing close. That's great. That's amazing. So we only have the Huntsman here. Acquired. Oh, and a light mech. 
Okay, and something else. All right, dealt some damage. Didn't get any, oh, wanted to say didn't get any in return. Ow, not cool. Is that the Warhammer that hit me there with his Gauss? Is it a Gauss hammer? It could be a Gauss hammer. Okay. Okay, okay, I'm gonna push it. No, I'm not gonna push him. That is a freaking fault, it's everywhere. Oh my God, it's everyone, it's everyone, it's everyone. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, these guys will push more to the left side than to the right, so they won't come around this corner. So I am actually in their backs now, which is good. It's the Warhammer. He is a Gauss. He is a Gauss hammer. Okay. Okay, he's gonna hit me. I accept that. He's not hitting me? There it is. Good twist. I gotta say, good twist. Uh, sorry, Mr. Raven. Oh, I think I dealt some team damage. Light back here. I know, I know. Hey, Flea. It's another Flocust. <laughs> Hello, Flocust. Uh, he's masking away, though, because he got intimidated. That's good. So, two and two. Did we lose our assault mechs? I think we did not. So let's try to find another angle here. Hey, Raven. Are you fine? What are you doing? Go for the side torso on that thing. Okay. I am willing to take some damage. Not all of it, but some. There's the Flocust. That's the King Crab. Oh, we are getting pushed in the center. We need help now, if you can provide some. I mean, it's everybody here. Anyway. Ooh, huge kill. Huge kill. Uh, here's a Cyclops. He is a stick. Okay, cool. That is a great signal. Two assault makes down like that. I love it. Push forward, guys. We have it. Uh, the Cyclops is a stick. You can leave him. Okay. I'm, I'm just pushing... The uh, Enforcer. Okay. Bunch of people up there. I wanna... Ooh. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. So we cannot go in there. That's not That's not possible. We are 5 and 5. That's great. Because uh, I believe we have gotten a lot of important kills already. And that is half a Battlemaster down. So we're gonna take him now. If possible. Battlemaster is one shot. Kilo. Ooh, that's a problem though. These guys on the flank. Okay, let's keep the Flocust under control uh, yeah you and your missiles you can go wherever you want I don't care about you I got double AMS mm, uh, my heat is a problem here's the focus it's urban ooh it's an urban Mac Mac urban uh, <laughs> Irby Mac urban Mac um, let's go up here because there was an enforcer how are you how are you what is your what is your status here he's fresh yeah he was capping the whole time I believe so, that is not good at all. Is he though? I don't know. I want to stay here. I want to stay here. Uh, in terms of caps, never mind. We have the caps. They have nothing. Oh, beautiful. Got him. And here's the enforcer. Coming to the same spot. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's go for the cheetah then. He's probably gonna get pushed back again. Yeah, it's Cheetah and Assault Mech. Do I go for Assault Mech? No, Assault Mech is getting pushed already. Pretty big time. Uh, it's an Aki Cheetah last seen in Delta 6. There it is. There it goes! Bravo CT. Cool. Bravo CT? I like to hear that. Oh my god. This mech is so cool, guys! And yet again, we didn't destroy that many missiles. Um, I guess that's a bit of wasted tonnage in these two games, but I think in other games it could really, really matter. Now, let's have a look at the end score here. That was a crazy game. We got three killing blows. We got eight assists, three kill most damage dealt. We got 844 damage done, 388 taken with seven components destroyed. Oh, wait, let's check out the missiles. I, I don't think that we, yeah, 59 did so much there. But hey, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, and don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.